If you're an engineer looking for a job, your skills aren't enough. You need to be able to clearly articulate them on your resume in a way that lands you at the top of the stack. Luckily, I'm here to help. I'm Anna, a professional career writer here at Resume.io, and in this video, we'll take a look at three key areas to improve your engineering resume with specific examples. Plus, stick around for a bonus tip, especially for students and career changers. Let's dive in. The first place we're going to look at on your engineering resume is the employment history section. This section takes up the most space on the page and it's where employers will likely look first. You need to make sure each bullet point packs a punch by highlighting your impact. Employers want to see measurable results. Give numbers and statistics wherever possible and use the CAR method, challenge action result. For example, instead of just saying improved efficiency, try optimized network efficiency by implementing advanced monitoring systems, resulting in a 30% reduction in system downtime. And tip number two, tailor your resume to the job. Use the employer's name and the job title in your summary. Add specific technical skills from the job description to your skills section. And remember, not everyone reading your resume will be an engineer. So while you do need to use those engineering terms to show that you have the right knowledge, you should also lay out your achievements in simple terms so that your resume speaks to a broader audience. And my final tip is all about your presentation. Keep your formatting simple and clear to increase your chances of getting past the automated resume scanners built into online application portals. Use consistent fonts, bullet points, and headings to make it easy for the hiring manager to find the information they need. You can find these adaptable resume templates at the link below. And if you're a student or career changer, here is my bonus tip. Add a project section. Include academic and personal projects here. Any paid projects should go into your employment history section. This is a great way to demonstrate your hands-on experience even if you're just starting out. If you'd like more help getting started, you can check out the adaptable engineering resume sample I've linked in the description below. So there you have it. Now you're ready to revamp your resume and land your next great engineering job. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest resume tips and expert advice for your job search.